Hello, welcome back to the Black Queen Prophetess channel where I practice cardamancy and tarot reading. Today I'll be doing the weekly read for Aquarius. Hi Aquarius, thank you for your views. Well, unfortunately you did not make it into the top five, so you might be receiving this video a little later on in the week. In order to be a part of the top five, you would have to be one of the top viewed uh, videos of this week. Or you can wait until it's your season, Aquarius, but it's a long, long ways away, so you might not want to do that. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading with a prayer. Holy Spirit, I thank you for your, I thank you, Holy Spirit, and I welcome you into this place. I yield myself to you to receive and convey the message you have for Aquarius. I thank you for your message. I thank you for using me. And I pray that every person that hears this video and listens to this video may be blessed by this message. May it, it be it a warning or in a great expectation. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, Holy Spirit. There we go. I knew there was two in there. There was two in there. All right. Holy Spirit, what is your message that you have for your Aquarius? Okay. Holy Spirit, what is your message you have for your Aquarius? Your water bearers. Holy Spirit. Ah, you got uh, news about some trouble on the way or some some type of challenge. Who is this Jack looking at, Holy Spirit? Okay, so it's looking at that eight of spades. That means that you, you may be having some major concerns about things here. Aquarius. What's been on your mind? Okay. Are you concerned about an investigation that is being put out on you? Okay. Has that been keeping you up at night? Or maybe you haven't been feeling too well. Um, but either way, it is a challenge. Uh, the Holy Spirit says, uh, Aquarius, this illness is a challenge because it prevents you from being able to be the best you. But it looks like you might be handling it. It may be coming to a end very soon. But you may be having a, an illness um, that is keeping you from being the better you. Okay. Um, the way you want to. And the Holy Spirit wants to talk to you about it here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now let's look at the seven of um excuse me. The seven of spades here, which there is um yeah, whatever this illness is here, it is kind of keeping is setting you back from what you wanted to achieve. Okay. But you need to have faith that things is going to be handled. Okay, Aquarius. Now let's look at um only oh, because it just seems it's like six, seven, eight of phase in a row. This and six is an outcome card. And this is something where you're taking care of it, um, of something for once and for all. You're handling it. You're ending it. You're just going ahead and doing it. Um, this may be um, surgery that you have been working towards Aquarius. You will be having that surgery very soon. Okay.
because this is yes yeah, so of the end result of it all whatever it is uh well we it's not whatever it is you are you have an illness that has been weighing on you a little bit here and it's keeping you from being a better you okay and you feel like it's setting you back from you know being your better you now you have these two three you got the three of hearts which this is the love triangle card and then this is like a friendly third party um or some increase going on in your workplace or in your business you may be finding some increase in your business here and um a friendly third party may come in to help you out with this increase in business. Show sure is. Show sure is. Show sure is. The five of space uh, speaks to you exchanging money. So, yes, you, you're having an increase in your business. Um, this is why the, the Holy Spirit want to talk about this illness or... This issue it may be a physical issue that can be handled with surgery, whatever. It's not keep, you know, it's kind of slowing you down from doing whatever business that you're doing. You got to think about this illness and it's time for you to go ahead and um, take the steps to handling it once and for all um, here. Um Mm -hmm. You may be having a third party or you might actually be having um, <laughs> Oh man, because you have the three of hearts and the four of hearts the three of hearts is a love triangle card It is a love triangle card and the four of hearts is the sex card so you might be interested in the threesome and in the Holy Spirit says you under you realize your limitations during this threesome that you may have had. And it's like, okay, that's it. I gotta just go ahead and take get this surgery done. Okay, I can't even be my best me in the bedroom. Okay. So um, but you have favor here with the seven of diamonds. This is a, a favor card here. Um, you may have some increase in finances here or um, you gambled and won. Um, but this is how you're going to pay for that surgery. Mm -hmm. You invested very well. Aquarius in the past and you're reaping the harvest of that plus you have increase in business <laughs> yeah okay Holy Spirit do you have any other a last word for your Aquarius here do you have any last word what is your last word actually because I'm pretty sure you would do have a word Holy Spirit what is your last Final one card pull from the Black Tarot deck. Here we have the Ten of Knives. Okay. <laughs> so, in the reverse, so this is a woman stabbed up in the front. She's on her knees. But she's not giving in. She's been betrayed many, many, many times. But the sun peeks through, giving some type of hope here. And here uh, in the yin, I see this as a card where um, you're not handling betrayal very well. Aquarius you're not really handling it very well at all um 
and much like the Pisces, you may want, may be tempted to pitch a pity party here. There are some things that's coming to an end, and the Ten of Nines does represent um, painful endings. But in the end, you're at your rock bottom destruction crises. Deep wounds, refusal to accept that something or someone is over. Okay. And it's time for you to move on. That's what I said. You are not handling it very well. Okay. Okay. Um... How do you get back aligned, my Aquarius? You allow you allow your working and living environment the chance to breathe. Open the windows. Okay. Open the windows. I say go outside. Go outside. Go take a shower. Get up. Get out. And get some. As the great prophets, Goody Mob, told us uh, many moons ago. Get up. Okay, well, I had to say the same thing to Pisces. Get up. Okay, it's time to open that some fresh air in your home. Take a shower. Okay, in this, wrap this up. It's okay to have the blues, but that's not okay, and it is not normal, and it will never be normalized for you to just stay in your home moping. Get on up, okay? And and I, and I do. Yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. Whatever happened here, it was embarrassing. It, it kind of took you down a little bit, but don't pitch a tent. Do something about it, okay? Don't pitch a tent in Pityville. Do something about your situation because you have the power. Okay? That's all I have for you, uh, Aquarius. If you want a personal read, you can. My email is in the description. If you And I will check my emails and I will call her back. I will definitely hit you back with a, a scheduled date and time for your personal reading. That's all I have. You all have a good one and peace.